Sorry, I just don't have the time. What's up guys, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur, showing you the day in the life of a budding entrepreneur, just the hustle, grind, and confusion. So today is going to be a desk day for sure. I've got a lot of work to do and two clients who have stuff. One has stuff due today, the other has stuff due Monday, so I definitely got to hustle, actually no, Friday. I have one today, one due Friday, one due Monday, plus all the videos I'm doing for you guys and the usual stuff I have to do. So, pretty busy day. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you guys about before I dived into work was saying no. Just saying no. And this is something that I've been struggling with because I tend to be a yes person. I want to help as many people as possible. I want to meet and work with as many people as possible. And I am somewhat of an opportunity junkie when it comes to working with other people and saying yes to opportunities that slide across my desk. And so this is a challenge that I've just personally taken on. I literally made this up last night because I was looking at my workload and going, wow, I said yes way too, way too much. And that is the next five opportunities I'm just going to say no to. Just flat out say no. Like, uh, and what do I mean by that? I don't mean like your buddy is lifting a heavy couch and he's like, hey, can you help me? And you go, no, because Jason said to say no to the next five opportunities to do something. Like, no, no, no. Still, still, still please help your friends and family. What I mean by this, <laughs> nobody's that dumb. <laughs> anyway, I'm just being silly here. But what I mean by this is when you're at a networking event, maybe you get an email. This might be a marketing email telling you to buy a course, or this might be somebody else saying, hey, I wanna jump on the phone and, and talk to you about XYZ, is just saying, just say no. I mean, don't be rude about it. Say, no, I don't wanna talk to you. Just say, no, I'm sorry, I don't have the time. No, my workload's full. No, I'm not taking on new clients. Uh, I'm sorry, I have uh, an appointment. I'm booked this whole week. You know, some, it, some, reasonable explanation, but essentially just starving off all of the opportunities to say yes to stuff so you can focus on getting more customers in the right places, right? Because that's one of the things that I've struggled with is I'm saying yes to people who I don't actually want to be having as a client. And then number two, of course, is staying focused on what's really important and staying focused on perfecting your craft. What is your skill? So every time I say yes to something, it's taking away from my education time. It's taking away from the time I should be spending on things that are much, much more important. And of course, hopefully you've outlined two or three things that you really should be focusing on for the next three to six months. And then pretty much everything else, just say no if it's not gonna help you get to whatever goal that is. So just wanna share that quick tidbit with you. Time for me to dive in, do my morning brain dump, do my emails and just get to work. <sighs> so three and a half hours and one note will still not sync. I, I have gone through all of the support I can. I even went and created a, I ported over one of my domains so it wouldn't be on Microsoft, so I had a custom domain. I completely redid the account and nothing seems to be working. OneNote just doesn't want to talk to 365 for some reason. And it's like one of those little simple things, it's supposed to work. I mean, you. that's why I pay money every month for this silly little note-taking app to work, but it won't work. And unfortunately, this happened to me, I don't know, like four, probably four years ago, uh, towards the end of college, which is why I went over to Evernote, and then Evernote has, Evernote's full of bugs now, because they just straight up don't support Windows very well, so I either get a Mac so I can have these two things working, or find something else, but just sharing this with you, because when basic basic things don't work. I mean, like signing into your account is supposed to take max 30 seconds. So something that's supposed to take 30 seconds just gobbled up three and a half hours of my day, which means it's completely shot uh, in terms of, you know, task management. And I still didn't get a solution. I still didn't get a solution. So um, the whole point of having these types of things is so I don't have to open up any code. I don't have to custom code. And if I have to go start chatting with support, that's even more of a time suck. And so 
now I get to make the decision on whether or not I'm going to continue to use this, keep paying for this app. I mean, there's a free version of it, but I was paying for the the nicer version so I wouldn't have to deal with all this, right? But this just sucks. Just really, really sucks. Well, that was not fun at all. After uh, another hour of battling with OneNote, it uh, even on my wife's Mac, it was not syncing properly. I have no idea what's wrong with it, so I'm probably just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back to Evernote, which kind of stinks because little known fact: when you try and copy and paste something between OneNote and Evernote, it shows up as an image in Evernote. So I have to copy the text from OneNote into Word and then into Evernote. So you can imagine that's gonna be a really long and time consuming process. However, since this is the second or third time I've had to leave OneNote because of a sync issue like this, I think this is probably gonna be the last. I'm just gonna to have to get over and use a product that I think is inferior in most ways, which is Evernote. So bye bye OneNote as much as I like it, but if, if it doesn't sync, it doesn't sync, right? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. However, silver lining of today, one, what is cool is if you remember a couple, about a month back, I put together a Fiverr gig in like five hours. I'm finally ready to post my first gig to Fiverr. So earlier I was telling you guys that it looked like I needed to hold off on my keyword you know, research gig. And, you know, when I launched that, I didn't have a lot of expectations. However, I did get an order today. So that'll be like $4 um, worth of profit by the end of the day. So nothing to write home about, but it is really cool to see that someone saw the gig and purchased. And it's just one of those things where patience kind of paid off. It was a real long shot in terms of the style of the, the way I formatted it. But based upon his product or service, if, He's happy with what he gets. I might be able to upsell him on some other stuff too, which is you know the whole point of the gig in the first place. So even though OneNote completely destroyed my day and I'm just gonna have to pedal to the metal getting today's video out and finishing some client work, uh, it's nice that I had that little message come in and say, hey, you got a Fiverr order, which is really cool. You gotta start somewhere, guys. You Seriously, I'm celebrating this because you just have to start somewhere. So super pumped up and excited for that. Not happy at all about how half my day was wasted on OneNote. I'm not gonna pretend like, you know, I can brush that off. I'm going to be pretty sore for a couple of days because of how much work I've put into organizing and making sure all my business systems run off of OneNote. So it's kind of like taking the foundation out of my organization. Super, super not cool. So any who, thanks uh, for watching. Hopefully you got some value out of that little uh, no um, exercise in the beginning. I know I'm going to be using it over the next couple of days as the emails comes in and you know I go to the co-working space or go to meetups and, and talk to people just practicing saying no. So I hope that was helpful to you. So until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.